Today in our 2013 Nissan Frontier, we're doing a test fit of the Kurt 20x48 cargo carrier. That part number is C18110. Now this is designed to work with two inch hitches and has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. We're gonna start off here with a few measurements. Ground clearance being first. We're going to have about 17 and three quarter inches to the bottom. Our closest point is going to be about 27 and 3 quarter inches. Excuse me, overall, what we're adding to our vehicle, and now our closest point is going to be about 8 inches away there. Now, on our Frontier, we do have a single passenger side exhaust here. It does come straight out to the side, so we don't have to worry about carrying heat sensitive materials in a specific region on our carrier. So if you are a hunting enthusiast and you like to put your game or your kill on the back of your vehicle and not have it in your truck bed, this is a great place to have it since you won't have that heat coming straight towards the back end. We're going to check our tailgate breakover point and overhang. You'll see there we don't have any contact whatsoever with the tailgate onto our cargo carrier. We've got a bit of overhang sitting about six and a half inches and it hangs over covering about six and three quarter inches. So just keep that in mind. If you do have anything that's stacked up on your carrier, you might want to move it out of the way just so you don't have that contact there. But other than that, you won't have any contact whatsoever with the actual cargo carrier portion. As for our hitch, this is designed to work with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. So you can use this one cargo carrier for multiple vehicles. It also comes with an anti-rattle bolt and clip, so it's going to keep a lot of the shake and play out of the carrier as you head down the road, so you should have an overall smooth ride. So that's going to be our completed look at the Kurt 20x48 cargo carrier, part number C18110 on our 2013 Nissan Frontier. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.